What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm on Scream 6 in this video here again today and talking about the production weekly update that came out that had all of these cast announcements listed on them that we've gotten for the week. But I know something did stick out to people and it's had a lot of people just going a little berserk I would say. And that's because Courtney Cox's name was removed from it. We know she was the first name that was listed there and now she's been removed with these official cast announcements announcements that have been coming out so the people have been thinking about that rumor for those of you who have been following these rumors they had thought about the rumor where it stated that somebody had backed out last minute and they replaced them and they think was that courtney i don't think that was courtney because of the fact of how fast that person is claiming somebody was replaced from backing out they did not certainly recast gail weathers they probably if anything worst case scenario they had a script written that that involved a movie without Gail Weathers as they planned to have her involved in it. I don't think it was Courtney that backed out though. Why is her name not there? Well, again, because go back to the original source of where we all thought this meant that she was officially back on board. She simply just stated that she received the script and they're going to start shooting in June. I mean, you you have to read the script. Um, I, w I would think before I guess you decide to just do it again I, th I think that's that's why a lot of people were just of course again running with it I think I even pointed it out she didn't say that she was back she stated that she received a script she never really said that she signed on that's not what that means you you can be offered to read a script for a movie and then say yeah I'll do it you don't have to sign and then read like that that's not how it has to be i don't think she ever really signed on just yet if she did which i i, I will say i think she has we're gonna get an official press release because there's been two press releases that i've had sent over to me this week the first one came on wednesday or on tuesday evening when we got the four survivors and then yesterday when we got our fifth survivor kirby reed from screen four and then I, I think maybe today you'll get your Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell simultaneous announcement with the rest of the new cast members being revealed tomorrow. Or what they could do, they could pull a even bigger surprise. Imagine later today you get an announcement that Courtney Cox and David Arquette will be back for Scream 6. And that's that's just the news you get today as far as like returning stars. Then tomorrow, the grand finale, Friday the 13th, you get Nev Campbell announced to reprise her role as Sydney Prescott in a press release. You get all the new talent unlocked. They did that last time. I think I even made videos talking about it prior to it prior to it happening to build it up. Something about how they were doing it just felt like when Nev got announced, you'll unlock the rest of the roster. And that's exactly what happened. We got a simultaneous announcement about Dylan Minnette, Mason Goody, and all these other people being involved in the in the movie. Uh, it was it was a great day. <laughs> I think they're going to do it again here with Scream 6. I think today you could get Courtney announced. If not just Courtney, maybe David announced. And of course, that's going to send the Internet into a frenzy. Oh, didn't David die? Uh, didn't Skeet die? <laughs> I mean, come on now. Let's let's be open minded. That's all I ask. Please start being open minded. They're not going to bring him back to life. That's not what that means. You can have the actor back. And the character can remain dead. Remember, this is the, the the movie making business. You making movies allows for magic. You'll get Courtney possibly today, and then you'll get Nev and the new cast members by the end of the week tomorrow, Friday the thirteenth. I don't think anyone should really be too worried about Courtney not being in the movie. I do realize that her show Shining Veil, vale, which you should check that out if you haven't. Um, I realize it got renewed for a second season, but I don't think that that's going to conflict with her already established obligations if she's already committed to doing scream six if anything they might do some reworking to be able to allow her to complete her her scenes for scream six she'll leave set and go do her work for shiny veil season two and again a lot of people are going to say oh well she left before before filming was over that means she's dead i know david left before filming was over but that's not that's not why that's not a sign that i think that david david is dying you have to remember that movies can be shot out of order. Courtney can easily come in, shoot all her scenes in a week, and then leave. And then when you watch the movie, guess who made it out of Survivor? Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers. It's only because of the fact that according to her schedule and how, how much time they had with the actress, 
certain scenes were shot before others. That's why you have the editing room. That's why you have all of these things that go into post-production. They edited the movie into a sequence in which it's cohesive and it's in their, their, their way of telling the narrative. And you come out on the other end having things that don't really make sense to you because of how things were reported in the media about somebody's time on set. Because somebody's time on set doesn't really relate to their impact in the movie. Usually, I'll say, usually. Because again, a person can come in and given the schedule that they have and the availability, they'll shoot all of their scenes very fast. And you can have somebody work in their beginning scenes their middle scenes are there in the middle and their final act scenes if they're in the final act it doesn't mean that they lived it doesn't mean that they died it just means that because of whatever their schedule allowed they shot it like this and i again think most of the time movies are shot out of order courtney's name isn't there because she never officially got an announcement she never officially got a press release you had her go on to an interview with variety and maybe say a little too much and then other headlines ran with it. Oh, she's back. She's back. She's confirmed. Courtney Cox Gellweather's back. She didn't say that. She said she got a script. Again, someone can invite you to read a script. And then if you like it, you can agree to do their movie. Courtney never really got a official announcement, which is why her name got removed. I think you're going to get that official announcement. And then you'll see those same headlines that ran with that. They'll run with it again when it's made official this time around. So... Obviously, of course, her getting the script is the indicator, the biggest indicator that she's back. Her enthusiasm also made it sound like she'll be back. So when that announcement comes, I won't be shocked. Now, if she isn't in the movie, that again will be something I know a few people will freak out about. I think everyone just needs to just consider being more open minded. You know, these movies, these people aren't obligated to star in these movies. If they can't do it because of their schedules, then they just can't do it. That doesn't mean that the people who have their vision need to pause their vision and wait for them to be available. No, you have to be able to maneuver within the allotted time that you have to complete things. Sure, you would love to do it this way, but if one party is going to prevent you from completing your vision you can't you can't let that happen but i think courtney will be here you'll get that announcement probably today or sooner but let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have a link to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video